understand that those core values are not just applicable here in recruit training, but they form the foundation of how we expect them to live their lives as United States Marines. But we understand that this, these success stories wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you, their friends and family. So for all the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, pastors, coaches, and family friends, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for what you provided these, uh, these young men and women to contribute to their success. Thank you for instilling in them a sense of discipline and willingness to work hard to accomplish a tough task. Thank you for making them want to be part of something bigger than, than themselves. But most importantly, thank you for instilling them a desire to serve. To serve their fellow Marines, to serve our Corps, to serve this great nation. The next group I need to thank here this morning are our Marine Corps recruiters. They're out there today and every day in your hometowns across the United States looking for the next generation of Marines. In many cases, it was the recruiters who planted the first seed of the idea in the minds of these young men and women and said, the Marine Corps is something I can do, something I should do. They nurtured that idea, and then when the time came, they helped them take those first steps that led them to the yellow footprints here in today's graduation ceremony. It's no exaggeration to say that without our recruiters, we would have no Marine Corps. The final group I need to thank this morning are the drill instructors from Company C and Company N. I've been a Marine for 18 years, and I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I have not encountered a more professional or dedicated force. They are hand-picked and selected from across the, the Marine Corps. They represent a wide range of military occupational specialties, but most importantly, they're volunteers. And they said, hey, I'll come down here and deal with the challenges of recruit training because I know that the mission of making Marines is of critical importance to our Corps and to our nation. Please join me in a round of applause for our drill instructors. Now please excuse me for a moment while I address your Marines. Good morning, Marines. Good morning, sir. Marines, I have three things to tell you this morning. First is congratulations. You've done what less than 1% of your high school contemporaries would have dared to do. Just come here to Paris, to Paris Island and attempt to become a United States Marine. Join the world's most elite fighting force at a time when your nation is at war. It's a tremendous accomplishment and one that you should be proud of. Secondly, is to remind you that the challenge is just beginning for you. You also have to go to your military occupational specialty schools and then take your place shoulder to shoulder our Marines currently serving the operating forces, where I can assure you that you will soon find yourself forward deployed in action against the nation's foes. No service has a higher percentage of its troops in action than the United States Marine Corps. We remain first to fight. The final thing I have to tell you this morning is to never forget the way you felt last Saturday over an extra 